Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Uh, besides being a cop here in Jersey City and patrolling the area, I'm also in a Fraternal Order Police Honor Guard and the Emerald Society Honor Guard. One of my favorite hobbies is play the bagpipes. I get to play at uh, police officers' weddings, which is a great occasion. And occasionally, uh, I do police officers' funerals. And to me, it's a great way to honor your fellow officer and pay your respects to them. Uh, I've been a cop in Jersey City for about a little over a year, and it's exciting. I like it a lot. You know, it's where I grew up. It's something that I like to do, and uh, I find it fun. Yeah, nice crew up here. Look at these two. Two of them talking right there. Mike, did you see that? He just passed that off to the guy at the Yankee hat. Just yeah. passed it off to that White guy. White shirt? Yeah, he's yeah. walking up the block right now. All right. Let's stop. go check him out. Give him a quick stop and see what he's got. There he goes, and right there. Just keep an eye and make sure he doesn't drop anything. Should be in his right hand, if anything. Keith, you got him right here. Okay, oh, There's one right here. Oh, he tossed okay. Sorry. I don't have anything. You got two vials. I think he tossed a couple. Oh, no, of them. I didn't, sir. That might have been one step. Sorry, I did. I'm trying to tell you. Sorry, yeah, the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have a right to return it. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you. Uh, you understand your rights? Can I ask me? What? Can I speak? You can speak, sir. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure you got no weapons in it. I ain't got no. I'm clean. I'm clean. Stay clean. on your back. Stay on your stomach. Right. I'm clean. Yeah, NTF8. Uh, we had a small foot pursuit here. Yeah, he can send okay. another car just for transport purposes. I right. actually have Charlie and uh, he's Delta. I got a 103 headed over there. All right. All right. All right. All right. Check it up. All right. Yeah. Give a good pat down. Yeah. You got any weapons on you? Anything else? Nothing. No. You got the evidence? Okay. You got no weapons, no needles on you, correct? Why don't you put your pants up here? 
Hold them with the back of your hands. Hold your pants up. Talk to what are you doing up here and all that stuff? Uh, seven alpha. Hold on. Get him here. Get him here. Yeah. All right, what were you doing up in the area then, sir? Huh? What were you doing up in the area? You can check the valve. That's, that, that, that's, that's, that's no coconut. All right? Sir, I'm asking you a question. You don't have to answer him if you don't want to. All uh, right. What were you doing up there? What I seen? I was just hanging out. You were just hanging out? So when I approached you, why'd you run? No, I was scared. I didn't know what was you going what on. You what I seen? I didn't know what was going on. That was okay. it. Okay. All right? Okay. You knew it? All right. Gentleman uh, had a file in his hand. That time he seen us, right away he put his hand down, started walking with a female. We approached him to do a quick investigation, took off running. Uh, right in between the cars, uh, caught him right there. Started doing a little resistant arrest there, and uh, ended up tossing something on the ground. My partner probably grabbed that. I did believe I almost stepped on it. But uh, at that time, I was uh, a little bit worried about getting him cuffed. And secure, safe for me and myself and my partner. And uh, now we're looking for the drugs that he tossed. I do believe he recovered the one, but uh, possibly tossed it right along the path here. We're just gonna take a nice quick look. He's secure. Alright. Alright. Right. NTF Sergeant. Alright, NTF Sergeant. So now you have a pull in that same area of Whiteman Parkway and Alright, right, right here, uh says it's coming to that fire like off. Like I said, I see him tall something. There's a black male, There's a couple vials black here. headband, a powder substance wearing uh, jeans and a white t shirt. King. Has a gun in the pocket. Good job, they're ready. Reese is off with the unit with the CDS arrest. NTF-6 is volunteered to go up and take a look at that. There's a black male, he's short, he has a black headband on, last seen wearing jeans with a white t-shirt. Yeah. 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 All right, boss, uh, we're approaching the area. Yeah, he was making a deal right there. He seen us right away. He had the clear vials in his hand, ducked them down, immediately started walking up this way. Okay. So uh, he knew what uh, we seen, what I observed. I pulled him over there. At that time, we just took off. So uh, Sheriff Ripper pursued afterwards, got him right here, he seen it, tossed it under the car. Keith here was able to recover that, along with Eddie. Got a couple of uh, vials here that uh, try to uh, discard. Okay. And uh, good job on everyone else. No one got hurt, and that's, that's good it. Good response, great. Okay. So, they got, right. They're taking him in, right? Yeah, yeah they got him. Freddie's got him in. Uh, good job. All right, thanks. Um, he's recovered the CDS. Like I said, once I got him on the ground, we tackled him. I heard it, seen it, right under the car. I thought it was actually only a couple. Ended up being a couple more. Probably tied in a rubber band once I hit the ground. You know, it all disbanded and uh, covered it right around there. All right, job well done. Let's go see what else we can get into. Well, we got a call of a, um, a hit confirmation on a low jack. Somebody had a low jack... Um, uh, go off, and uh, one of the units uh, from another town actually um, had the hit, and it's coming back to uh, a resident here. Looks like it's in the uh, in the garage or something, and um, they're trying to get in the garage, we're trying to see if one of the owners lets us in the garage. Alex, Lieutenant, I haven't come to the car. Hey, Lieutenant, Lieutenant. What do we got here? They tracked the thing with Lojack, and uh, uh, it's a heavy piece of heavy farm equipment out of New York City. And the guy is uh, highly trained, and he tracked it right to the door. He says it's definitely 100% in and there. And it's in there? And it's an ex expensive piece of equipment. Are going to let us in? Well, I'm trying to get a hold of the owner, and if we, we'll, we'll either tell him he uh, can let us in, sign a consent to search, is, or we'll have somebody sit here and try and get a judge. Is that a rental or they're, they're renting the garage? Or, or I don't know. A... We're trying to get a hold of the owner right now. I'm going to go up to headquarters, make some phone calls, and see if I get a hold of the owner. Then we'll go from there. All right, I'll stand by here with them. All right. We'll just stand by here, see if we can contact the owner. Hopefully, we can get the owner to give us a consent to search. If not, they're going to have to hold off and get a uh, search warrant to get inside.
How you doing, Kevin? Bobby Cruz. How you doing, Bobby? Kevin Cruz. So that's definitely in here, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, like I said, we were up on Patterson Plank Road. Uh, yeah, we actually, heard, we heard actually, the kids yeah. coming down. Actually, the, on, the, uh, Patterson, uh, the control guys were on Patterson Plank Road, and uh, they started getting a low jack hit. But uh, my partner, he's at the, the full training on the whole thing. So we, we come over and we help him out, and um, we're riding around down here. And just as we get here, it just yeah, but we locked on it earlier, and we ran it to NCIC, and it comes back to an Ingersoll Rand um, piece of construction equipment, and it's a hit out of New York City, and they want to hold for prints on it. And then as we're coming up here, it goes it goes completely off. We, when we pull the car right up to the garage, definite hit, it's in there. And then it naturally it makes sense, it's a general contract, yeah, he's got he's got some sort of yeah, construction equipment yeah. in there. Yeah. Are you the owner of the company? Yeah. You're the owner of the building? Yeah. Okay, what we have is Jersey City track, a tractor to your property, a stolen vehicle. Okay. A stolen should, vehicle? Right. It, they're tracking it, and it's, it's in the garage, according to... Well, it's not specifically a vehicle. vehicle. It could be... It's a piece of equipment right. that has a system that's, when it's um, activated, it, when it's stolen. Okay? Oh, I see. Well, and it could be... It's coming from the uh, garage. So, maybe I know I know what happened. Uh, SDA guy came and he sold me compressor. Maybe so a guy one. came in and sold you yeah. compressor. Well, what we'd like to do is before we enter your garage, yeah. if, you, if you're willingly, voluntarily allowing us to search your garage, we need you to sign a permission to search the garage. Yeah, okay. I, I thought I thought yesterday we bought, we bought the, the uh, this uh, compressor. Which compress we are one guy from Jersey City. Okay. Do you know the guy from Jersey City or? I don't know. It's my son. Maybe he come down. Okay. But well, we'll, they would like to speak to your son also to find yeah, out where he bought down. it from. He okay. Come down now. What this unit is is a low jack uh, police recovery recovery unit, which uh, enables the police to track and uh, recover stolen vehicles. In this particular case, it's a piece of construction equipment that uh, appears to be a, uh, a compressor or some kind of machine we use in construction. It is now uh, emanating a signal from a locked, confined area such as, such as this garage. Oh, up, yes, uh, and so this, uh, this arrow here is what... The arrow indicates, indicates it's straight ahead and we're right on top of it. So it could be no other place but dead ahead behind these uh, locked doors. What kind of compressor is it? Uh, an air compressor. Did you say air compressor? That's yeah, it? air compressor. Why would someone install something like that on an air compressor? I mean, is it real expensive air compressor? Uh, no, we, I mean, we rent them all the time. Okay. Yeah. I was going to say, because to put a system like that, they usually put it on a car. Right, right, right. And, um, you know, that I can understand on a car because they're worth, you know, over 20 grand. That one over Are the, um... The one back there? Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. Uh, now I understand why. I'm thinking the way you talk to I'm talking a small compressor. Uh, yeah. That's what we're talking about. Uh, one. That one there? Yeah. Oh, we need to get it out. How are we going to get it out? Hey, Lieutenant, how are, we, how are they going to get this thing out? We'll have to call a tow truck. They can hook it up to the back of the tow truck. You want to take it out now? Yeah. The ones they use to, to, uh, to break up the street, those tiny compressors? Yeah. Because yeah. when he said compress, I'm thinking... What are they doing with a jump out jack? It's incredible how you know somebody can pick up something like this for five hundred dollars, where you know, they worth over you know ten, twenty thousand dollars. Yeah, he knows it's stolen. There's no, you know, uh, of course. No I mean, for, for some like he's know, in the business. The guy's you, in the business. I know he that. he knows that it's going to cost him more. Oh, it was like a steal for him. Absolutely. It's brand new. It's brand new. Oh. That thing. I guess he didn't know that was stolen. Nah. Uh, what did they go for, like 30? And like I said, isn't that something? Yeah, it's stolen on the 11th. Yeah. Right here, Lieutenant, we got a confirmation of the uh, vehicle VIN number, okay, which number. matches the, uh, the hit out of uh, New York City. This piece of equipment was stolen out of New York City and ended up in the garage here somehow. Okay. And the Charlie's going to stand by here until they take this. It was confirmed already, right? Charlie's going to stand by here for, uh, for the tow. Uh, so they so so he can start the paperwork. Brand new, man. Look at that. Yeah, Charlie. Well, you, just stand by until the tow gets here. They're gonna tow this down. And while Anthony goes up with the guys, so we can start the paperwork. Basically, is it's not gonna be any bail. You're probably gonna be, you know. Oh, uh, and you know, you're on your way and just have to show up in court and just explain to the judge 
that, um, you know, guy came by the construction site, you know, you bought it, you, know, you not knowing that it was stolen. Someone will have to be arrested for receiving a stolen property. Yeah. The okay. thing is, explain once you go to court, judge. you explain to the judge, and hopefully, right. you know, it can be straightened out, but you got to be charged with receiving stolen property. I'm a huge KISS fan. We have a lot of KISS fans, especially in my district. As a matter of fact, about four of them and myself saw KISS recently. Enjoyed the concert very much, I should say. Greatest band in the world. And, uh, no, I, don't think, I think there's a lot of guys that, uh, you know, I grew up, I was a teenager in the late 80s where, uh, you know, you had heavy metal was big, you know. I just don't feel I have to change my music just because I got older. Well, yeah, we also, like old stuff, we too, all, like we also listen like to a lot of you know, classic rock. Like uh, rock and, and new rock. You know. you know, we just don't like dance music. And, Nonsense. Well, I have nothing against dance well, music. I, I like, uh... You see this one? You see that? Yeah. They're out in droves tonight. Look at this. You see that? Something up there. I see it. We're getting waved. We're getting waved. It looks like there's a there mess on the little street here. Let's see what we got. He's over there. Where is he? Get over here. I'm not. Get over here. Colby. Get oh, over what? here. Colby. I'm trying to be my girlfriend. What is wrong with you? Put your hands. Put friend. your hands on the hood. Just not stay here. still. Just down. Put this down. I don't believe you. What are you doing? Put your hands behind. What are you doing? Put your hands behind your back. You know what? What are Put you doing? Put your hands. You're under arrest. For what? You're stealing ladies' pocketbook. I didn't steal a pocketbook. You know. <laughs> And TF5 and 6, Pet Boys have Lot, they have one under arrest for uh, the theft of a pocketbook. Put the car we need a car, uh, just I'll one. It's under control. Put the car. I'll, I'll go, go with you, but I don't have a pocketbook. Mom, just put your arm in the back. Just cooperate. It makes it a lot easier, right? Put the arm in the back now. Get off me. Grab the other arm. Get off me. There you go. There you go. Get off my arm. All right. Get off me. Okay. You got all his uh, property? Yeah, it's in the truck. Somewhere. Yeah, I don't have that, no. All right. You got a pocketbook, honey? I don't have it. It's all right. Just wait for, uh, wait for another car to transport him. They sent him one? Yeah, I called for one. At East end tier five and six. Did you get that? I don't steal pocketbooks. Uh, just received. I didn't hear you. You have five and six. Your exact location for the car. All right. Go ahead. We're right next to Pet Boys on the uh, south side of it. You stole a pocketbook from. Lady with the white shirt right here. Oh, oh, the one with the right pink right retrieved right. the pocketbook. Yeah. And then this one took off, and we caught this one. All right. We're so, need the, um, which one you want me to bring in? I told one of them coming to the east. Well, we need the victim, and All we right. also need the person that picked up the pocketbook. All right. We'll I'll determine both who we're going to take a statement. From. Okay. Listen, we just. Can both of you come back to the east? It won't be we take long, just to make a statement. We actually pay a bill, though. Yeah, that's all right. Pay the bill. Uh, where's, where's the bill? At Pet Boys, right? All right, you are the victim, right? Yes. At Cosmos. At Cosmos? Yeah, we were sitting. It happened right in the in. mall? Yeah, and I ran all the way out. All right. All right. All right. David, I called in what and I gave him the license. This one. He gave it. Um, the, this guy stopped him right there. Oh, you got the purse? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, the purse is we just got it here. But he yeah, stopped. Yeah, okay. Take the other guy. You got a description on the other guy? Oh, no, I didn't know there was another one. She there was someone else involved? In. Yes. A woman. I a woman? I called, I called and I gave them the license plate number. She was in a car? Yeah, yeah. and he ran out okay. because there was three cars. If you can give it to us now, we're broadcasting. I can't really remember. It was yeah. off the top of my head. You gave nothing in that side, Joanne? All right, go ahead. Have a seat. Watch, it. Watch the cuffs. They're going to tighten up. All right. Uh, 
Cosmo, right? All right. Cosmo. so Cosmo's up, man. That's what she said. It was at Cosmo's in the mall. I didn't know. I wanted to see this. She did it. Radio's going to rebroadcast when they're listening to her. Uh... You, have a, you have a plate? All right. We called it in 911. She called himself and why he ran. I'm waiting for it to get, get it back. There was another car involved with this okay. this man? Yeah, he ran out of the car. And the, the, oh, okay. And the car took off? Yes. But you did get the correct plate? Yes. She did. Yes. Okay. They're going to have it on the tape then. <laughs> All right. Did you see the other car involved? Yeah, it was white. White what? A white um, Corolla, Toyota Corolla. She was a um, mid aged woman with two kids in the back of the car. I thought it was her purse he took. Right. She ran, pulled him down, ripped his shirt off. Right. And was hitting him, and she snatched the purse and it fell when she ripped the shirt off. Mm -hmm. And then he ran, and then the other girl whose purse it was ran. Right. He's like, Miss, give me my purse. She was like, I'm giving it to you, like, you know. All right. Lady Corolla. So it's a white Corolla that they were also involved. I think it's involved. a Corolla. Yes, yeah, a little car, like eighty something, ninety. She had and kids a, in the car. A middle-aged woman with kids. Yeah, like yeah. All right. Nice. He wasn't gaining on you. He wasn't gaining. It's a good thing. If he was gaining, I'm in big trouble. This is one of those situations. Someone's just eating lunch. Someone takes their purse. Thank God someone wanted to get involved. They got the purse back. And we're able to flag us down and get the actor. Yeah, good thing they didn't lose him. They're able for us to uh, be right there and scoop him up. That was good running, by the way. Well, he was no Cordell Stewart. Hey, you weren't no Eddie George. Okay, we'll still send a code three.